My great grandfather was a slave. Had to chop that cotton, worked in fields. Nana is a very nice woman in her 90s with short gray hair, a different outfit for every day of the week, but she has no idea what she orders on Netflix. So what had happened, y'all? It wasn't a question of if, it was a question of when. When the hell was someone gonna offer me a bloody cigarette? Throw up that life! ya zavut ero! Put your hands together. They took their tiny corpses, wrapped them in tissue, put them in a Ziploc bag, mocked mice, and put that in the freezer next to the strawberry ice cream. I was hating life. Hating it. Hated my job, hating the suburbs, and I get to the point where I was hating the weekend. My buddies, Ray and the crew, we go to the same places every weekend, meet the same girls, get dissed by them, <laughs> and have to go right on back home. And finally, I was like, look, to my whole crew, look, I'm not doing this anymore. I gotta go someplace else, do something else, and where are you gonna go? I'm going to Detroit. <laughs> yeah, pass by the club is called Parabox. That's all right. Come on. Come on. You know, I had to act like I knew what I was doing. Come on now. Got to get to the club, man. Big dude at the door. How much? $5. That's not bad, is it? It's not so bad. Pay the man. Then I open up the door. Salsa. Left, right, spinning, beautiful women. I couldn't believe it, dude. Hair slicked back, pants. I was like, whoa, baby, whoa, what is going on up in here? I was getting nowhere near the dance floor. I just stayed there watching, looking stupid. Finally, finally, all of us were like, all right, we got to go, man. Come on. We gotta go on home. Yeah, I went on home, got back in the bed. You know. Next morning, I got that phone call. It's Ray, man. We got lessons in a half an hour. Get your butt out of bed. So I was practicing in the morning, brushing my teeth, trying to get that eight steps going on. What the hell she eight? Seven. I was trying to get it. I couldn't quite get it and be at work trying to get my dance on. Then one day, I got home, and I thought, you know what? There's a park. There's a park right behind my house. I'm going to go up back there and practice. I was trying to do it, minding my own business, with nobody looking at me. I was just by myself. I just finished up when, when a cop car pulls up. Excuse me. What is it you're doing back here? Officer, I'm just, uh, just dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to go on ahead and get in your car, not move. Stay there, please. I get in the car. Another cop car pulls up. Another one. Five, seven, eight. Finally, finally, in typical experience, black male fashion, I put both arms outside of the car. I got nothing in my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door now, officers. Click. Swarm. Swarm. I was drugged out of the car. Cuffs slammed on, slammed on the hood. Watch your head. Watch your head. I'm like, oh man, this is some nonsense. They take me, they put me up in the jail. And uh, you know, I, I get kind of claustrophobic, people do when they get in jail. <laughs> and I starting to have like some kind of a panic attack. I'm wondering what's going on. And this officer, he comes up, he comes up and he's like, hey, 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 hey. You the one in here on DWB? 
DWB, what's that? The Dancing While Black? <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 I think that's me. He's like, whoa, that's, that's a tough break, brother. He takes on back down the way. Hey, man, help, help me, help me. No help. And like I said, I'm having that panic attack. I'm trying to call my roommates. Nobody's picking up the phone. And my mind, I'm just, get it together, brother, get it together. I need to concentrate on something. I need to concentrate. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do my little dance. Right. My little dance song. So I started trying to get them steps. Eight, nine, whatever he was talking about, 20. And certainly, kind of, kind of occurred to me, it's not eight steps, it's three. It's more like a, a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's a quick, quick, slow. A quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Woo! Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Ah! Quick, slow. Ah! Woo! I'm dancing, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Uh. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it. Stop it. What is it you think you're doing in my jail cell? Ward not talking to me. He's like, Ain't no dancing up in my jail. I'm like, man, man, what you gonna do? Put me in jail? <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Every family has their black sheep. On my mother's side, our black sheep was a shepherd who enslaved his own flock. Now this brother is an educator, a poet, a writer. There is nothing he cannot do. Banda is a form of music. Came out in the 30s when Mexicans began mingling with German Americans in Texas, creating a fusion between mariachi and polka. The boy and wild. Together at last. This call is from an inmate from a correctional institution and is subject to monitoring and recording. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. I remember when I didn't know I was black. Suicide? No, you will not do this. Hey, hey. where you learn to dance? I learned how to dance in jail. <laughs> 